William Kakwamba. Welcome. Um, thank you. So, I for for my first like talk in um in Tanzania, I definitely like this like some part that I did. Um, I did don't um I had one of the part because at that time. I couldn't really like uh, speak English because I was six years out of school, and the, um, what happened was that when I was growing up in Malawi, we experienced a uh, famine, which made my parents not to afford to pay for my school fees. But I really would love to. I really loved the school. So during that time, when I had to drop out of school, I really loved the school. And when I spoke at the TED stage in Arusha, a lot of uh, Teddy Stars volunteered to support me to get my schooling back on track. So I went to school in South Africa at African Deshpa Academy for two years. It was hard, but I, I made it. After that, with my friend Brian, we published a book. During my book tour, also became a college tour. One of the colleges in New England encouraged me to apply. I'm a currently a student there. It's really a miracle. So my first year was really challenging, but I knew that I could make it because other people have done it before. So like enough, my tutors and also my teachers couldn't give up on me. I was finally, by mid-sophomore year, I finally caught up with my friends. I have wonderful friends. I, lo I love like campus, uh, campus life, although I'm not a very good fan of the code. Every summer, I try to go back to Malawi to improve the life of the people and also to improve my community. One of the projects that I did was to build the primary school that I went to. The school was built 60 years ago with the capacity of 100 students. Right now, there are 1,500 students enrolled in the school. So we installed solar panels at the school so that the students can be able to study later on at night. And also there's some desk. Uh, even better, with Pearson, we have also added 10,000 new books at the library where I first learned about windmill. We share some of the books to the other libraries in the nearby. So, even the, the school that resented me, kicking me out, with, in the, instead of resenting the school that kicked me out when my parents couldn't afford, me and my friend, we installed solar panels and also installed uh, computers that allow students to, to study. We use offline internet using eGreenery, which has all the information that they need for their studying. And right now, most attendance has doubled because of that student, they're going to be able to access some information. We can update once in a while. I also started a soccer team so that some guys in my community, they can be able to have something to do. It brings the community together, and women brings vegetables to sell, uh, bring snacks to sell at the game to earn some money. We also installed solar water pumps so that women can be able to get water. It's the only running water in the surrounding area. The women, they don't have to travel long distances. At school, I started two businesses. One of the businesses is um, Mesby, which grind corn for women's, um, women in the village grind their corn, and they, they do have the business is run by my parents. The other business, is like a minivan transport, transportation business. I ordered this van over the internet from my dorm room. I ordered it from Japan and get it shipped to Tanzania. And I went there to pick it up with my, with my father. So every time when I go back home, I try to uh, work hard to share some of my skills that I have with the people in my community so that they can be able to do their own project. One of the projects that I do is to teach them how to fix water pumps and also how to maintain so they can be able to, um, 
to take care of their own like our destiny. Um, back to school. Eleven weeks and seven um, seven years and two days from my first time on stage stage at third stage with the, um, with Chris. I'm real happy to share with you that I'll be graduating from Dartmouth College in New Hampshire. What next? A lot of people ask me what will be next. Next, I want to intern in a um, design firm so that I can be able to learn about design so that in the next uh, six months, then I can be able to go back to Malawi to, to work in the project where to promote about water and also energy project. But that's what I'm hoping to do next. All of this couldn't have been possible without the support and encouragement that I got from the TED. All the people that supported me from the beginning until now, I say like thank you to all. It is a real great honor for me uh, to be here. Thank you. <laughs>